Hello. Lovely. Right. So, um, can you see our screen? Um, I'd like someone to speak up if that's all right. If someone can mute themselves and tell us if you can see it. Yeah, yes. Can yes. That. yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so, we're going on our residential in a couple of weeks. The time's going pretty quickly. So, we um, are going on the night of the 7th until the um, Friday the 8th. We get back in time for a pickup. We're going to be staying in the Anderton Centre. And I'm going, Miss Wild Goose, Miss Gordon, Miss Irvin is coming back, Mrs. Clark, Miss Trust, um, as members of staff. And then we also have um, some other adults coming with us as well. Um, this is the centre. So um, it compromises of basically um, one huge building that we will we have, and we are the only school that will be there. Um, if you look at the bottom picture with the van in it. That's the, the front with the reception. Um, the windows along the left is the kitchen, breakfast, um, dining area. And um, to the right, they are bedrooms. So there is um, a, a lot of bedrooms that are downstairs um, with their own door. Um, and then there will be adults down there who are purely with the children that are staying down there. Mm -hmm. And then the upstairs windows are where the rest of the bedrooms are. So it's like a, it's like a hotel corridor with mm. the rooms coming off of it. Um, it's obviously in, in the countryside, so there's lots of um, trees and it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's quite a long drive to get mm. to um, the centre. Right, so this is a... Okay, let's let them in. Um, so uh, this is the floor plan of the rooms. As you can see, there's uh, different numbers per room. So there might be your child might be in a room of three, uh, four, or Okay, um, so this is a layout. So your children will be on in one of these buildings. The one at the bottom says lounge with TV in the kitchen. That is that separate house that Miss Capozzi was talking about. Well, it's not separate, but it's at the side with its own door. Each door as well, um, we'll mention that has got a lock and a fob for all the adults that will have the fob. Mm -hmm. um, so the children can't get out. There's no escape. And this one at the top, the white square is the upstairs uh, part of the house and we've also got the lounge which is where the children spend their evening time with and we all congregate there as both classes together in the lounge that's like our meeting spot the children will also be given fire drill information as well when they get there um so meals the children will be provided with a packed lunch from school on the first day all the other meals will be provided by the Anderton Centre and will be eaten in this dining room which looks like this and um, so that includes their breakfast the next day as well um, if your child has any allergies, please can you make sure you've returned your medical form to us or to the office so we can keep up to date, as well as any medication and administrators for food allergies, if you could let us know about that as well through the form. Um, the kitchen are amazing. Yeah, they were fantastic. They were so good with allergies um, when we've been in the past. They've been really accommodating. So if your child does have an intolerance, do not panic because they are just brilliant yeah they take it very it seriously all really fresh wasn't it loads yeah. of salads loads of vegetables the children yeah. were just shoveling it in it was oh delicious. yeah they were the it was a um, ramen or something last yeah. year wasn't it like a ramen bar and they got to choose what they wanted in there so for picky eaters as well they won't get forced to eat anything yeah. that they don't want to have either my turn so <laughs> um as miss wilder said the bedrooms sleep in three fours um or sixes they're all bunk beds um, and they all have an ensuite coming off of them, which is fabulous. We don't use the showers um, because there isn't need for them, but obviously the children brush their teeth, wash their face um, in, their, in those toilets um, in the bathroom there. Um, when we arrive, the beds are not made. So when we arrive, they demonstrate to the children how to put the duvet <laughs> in the cover and how to put the pillows in um, a cover as well. So then we all go off and we make the beds. Obviously, we support them with that. But at the end, we also strip them 
Um, so we ask that you could please, please practice that with your children at home. Not so much the making of the bed, because we we kind of we were took it in turns, you know, helping the children with that. But the stripping in the morning mm. would be really useful because the turnaround is a much is much quicker in the morning because they've got to get. And get them ready, obviously, for breakfast. So it's important that they've had a little practice of it as well. It says here that we will as many of their friends as possible. And we've taken who they would like mm -hmm. to, to sleep with, and we've done our best to put them in rooms with at least one person mm -hmm. that they have requested. We don't share this with the children until we arrive. The reason for this is they spend literally minimal time in their bedrooms. Um, we don't want it to become a concern or a worry or a panic or a reason that people you know, fall out, the children fall out. It is supposed to be a really nice time all together as a group mm. of 60. Um, yeah, and in the past two years, we have decided not to tell the children until we arrive because it is then an exciting thing yeah um, and they're always happy yeah always excited no matter who they're with absolutely so because we do make sure that they are with somebody that yeah. they have asked for um the social areas that are available for us so if the weather's not great or we have to do um any indoor activities then we have these areas that miss wagu showed as the um like they're almost like a common room area mm. so there's tv sofa that's where of an evening uh, us adults will be based so that the children know where to find us if they need us um the building there that you can see is the outdoor activity well center part so we go in there we have lunch on the second day yeah actually last year we had lunch in there, the first in there. Day as well that's right, but yeah. then it was beautiful and sunny, wasn't it? Yeah. We were all outside, and yeah. they, we've been so lucky with the weather the last couple of years. The instructors were playing games with them outside yeah. as well, and that's where we go to meet before the activities, don't we? As Absolutely. So um, that room is used quite a lot, um, and it, it it's on the site as well. Yeah. Right. Ah. Oh, this is a nice part. So um, these are just some photos from one of the trips that we've done to show how much fun that your child is going to be having on mm -hmm. this residential. Um, so you'll see the top one here that looks a bit dark. That's their bushcraft at the night time. They love this last mm -hmm. year. It was so much fun. And they get to toast marshmallows. But every single activity is supervised by adults, um, include, especially the fire parts and around there doing bushcraft at the night time. There's adults everywhere. Um, and we've got in the morning in the middle picture at the top that's where the children go in the morning in the common rooms to read their books to socialize with each other in their pajamas before breakfast <laughs> and then we've got our canoeing which i think is my personal highlight it to be honest one. it is the best um, and we've got archery and our low ropes activities which the children will be doing as well all the safety kit that they've got will be provided by the center as well yeah, okay. Um, so at night time it is very cold, so please pack some very warm clothes. Um, we have sent a list home for the kits yeah, which the children should have given you, um, and if not, it will be in their book bags or their rucksacks of a list of equipment with the, um, that you might need for the trip. Um, but we basically said that essentially they need some very very warm clothing layers hats, scarves and gloves, because they will be outside most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, so all the activities are run by the <laughs> centre staff. We are there to help manage the children, but they are in charge. Um, so they have all the specialist equipment there. Then when we go out on the canoes, they are tied together. So it's eight in a canoe, well, mm. four in each. Yeah. They are tied together, so they can't, they cannot tip. And then it's dry canoeing, mm -hmm. but they all wear their life jackets and they talk them through how to use them and why they got them there. Um, it's, yeah, as it says, it's run as a dry activity and there is a drying room should we need it because you do get wet legs. Um, mm -hmm. 
wet shoes because yeah. the water does Slashing. come in and there is lots of splashing <laughs> and flicking of water. Yeah, it's more that they can't <laughs> control the oars. Yeah. So you're just it's more us, isn't it? Yes, yeah, us at the back. <laughs> trying to <laughs> yeah. try and steer and get flipped. So yeah. <laughs> there is a room there and also if it's raining or anything like that, muddy trainers, muddy shoes, soggy stuff, just get put in the dry room. Um we haven't forgotten anything yet, have we, as any no. items. So um that is coming up, the the kit list. But um, what I mean is it's all there for us to use and we do use it. Um, this is more of an update for you guys. We will try our best to upload pictures to Twitter, but the connection is just, it's just not great. It just doesn't work. Um, so we do do a OneDrive file when we get back and we put them all together. We do a two, did we do a 2W and a 2C one last year? Yes, we did, we did. We did. And then we... Um, put them all on there for you guys to then access we give you a password and then you can take whichever ones you want because everybody um consents to it mm -hmm. um it doesn't get shared anywhere else it doesn't go on you know your newsletter or anything for anybody else it's purely for you guys to have access to um and then you can look through them we look through them with the children yeah, we'll we did. Um, on the monday so if you don't see anything on twitter don't panic um, so just all the important bits, um, all medication forms and medication needs we have. And if your child requires any travel sickness tablets, please give these to them before arriving at school uh, with a completed form um, and its original box as well and give those to your class teacher mm -hmm. so we can administrate those on the way back if needed but loose tablets we can't give those to the children on the trip home so it must be in its original packet with um, basically how much you need to, we need to give them. Um, any medication at all obviously needs to be named and age appropriate and if your child wears pull-ups at night please make your class teacher aware we obviously can't put them on or take them off for the children, but we will give them that private space in their bathroom, in their rooms. Over the years, that's what the children have yeah. done. Who do wear them, they just take themselves off to the bathroom very discreetly, get changed into them. And if you could provide a bag for those to go in as well, a separate bag, that would be great. But do let us know so we can go and check and just have a little whisper like, oh, have you put them on? So, and it's nice and discreet for them. So this is the kit list uh that we've sent home so if you have got them if you haven't got a copy we've got loads of spares as well so do let us know if you do need a copy of this but it's got all the kit that we suggest that you bring um i won't read through it because obviously it's it's in your hands and you've got it at home but the main thing is that don't bring don't pack things that you don't want the children to get mucky so it's you know i said to my kids today it's not about the newest football kit going in that or anything like that if they, even if they want to bring it it's more about the old clothes that you'd wear to go on a hike that's why mm. i told tw today and i'm sure you've said something similar to tc and the main thing is plastic bags just for wet clothes and shoes um i did uh, last year the children were really good at packing their suitcases so maybe if you pack it with them it'll be easier for them to know where things are what and what there. they've brought and what is there so make sure the main thing is just make sure it's named um obviously we do check the rooms after they've gone and they're empty but as if things go into their friend's suitcases mm. so just make sure that everything is named and obviously it's just one small soft toy emphasis on small we don't want those big ikea bears <laughs> um, just so they can fit it in a suitcase any little notes if you want to write them put them in the suitcase anything will be like that and um, just no snacks um, and that's I, big one. I think it is on here somewhere and if it isn't um no snacks are to be brought or put in suitcases at all because we have children with allergies mm. um at the center they are given snacks throughout the day yeah. and in the evening as well so no food should be put in any child's suitcase and we will check and make sure that there that there isn't and that is it let's close this so that we can let's stop sharing there we go see so um has anyone got any questions i've got one it sounds really silly but what's the towel going to be used for so that is if they get a bit wet. So say if they got a whip, 
bit wet or mucky, they could just use that towel to wipe themselves clean. They won't be using a shower, but it's just in case they get a bit wet or mucky and they just want to dry their face or something like that. So oh, in the morning. Yeah. I'll pack, I, was, I know it says um, bath towel, but I might just do hand towel. Does that work? So yeah, it doesn't fill up the whole case. No, yeah. that's perfect. A bath towel, not a bath towel, a hand towel would be perfect. Be okay, great. that's fine. Thank you. You know, so you, know sorry. you said they. Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry you know, I can't tell who's about to speak. You know, you said they can't use the shower, they won't be. If they want to or they need to, are they? do they have the option to use the shower if they want to themselves? It's more yeah. really that they don't have the time, and yeah. it's a health and safety risk, I guess. If we're not there and they slip in the shower, it's more yeah. that you can't really stand in with them either. Yeah. So I think obviously if, if God forbid, they threw up in the night or they had an accident happen, or they different. got absolutely head to toe and in, That's what, if it grows, that, that, we it? would, you know, we yeah, would yeah. obviously let them use the shower if needed be, but just to at night as a normal part of routine we're just yeah. gonna say no but that's all right you know that's absolutely fine and the last question sorry you know the fleece it says a fleece jacket can it be a fleece jumper to go under the waterproof or does it have to be like a jacket i don't know how oh, strict of course fine. of course of yeah course. yeah that's fine. fine yeah okay fab thank you sorry okay. <laughs> oh, i was gonna ask that as well yes ma'am i missed the beginning sorry when you were talking about the rooms and the and the sleeping arrangements do you mind just going over that in terms of um is it separate rooms for boys and girls and how does it work at bedtime of course um so it is separate for boys and girls but they're not in separate parts of buildings so you might have a boys room next door to a girls room mm -hmm. for example or opposite in terms of bedtime um so the children will have their dinner and they'll have their bushcraft mm -hmm. and then afterwards they will go into their rooms and get ready for bedtime and then we'll meet in the common room, which we showed, you know, on the top floor bit, where it said lounge bit, we'll all meet there and yeah. they'll have a little film, but it's then the hot chocolate. But then at that point, it's their choice if they want to take themselves to their rooms yeah, or we'll get a group of them and send yeah, them away. We start saying it's bedtime at this time, you know, at, so they're still out doing their bush, their bush trial, yeah, bush so trials <laughs> at half seven. Yeah. So we say start going to bed at eight yeah, and then yeah. bed. Bedtime is about half eight. Yeah. And all children will be in, in their bed. beds by then. Yeah. Obviously, if there's upset or yeah. look, that's different, but the ex expectation mm. is half eight. Mm. Um, and from past experience, do they tend to kind of go off to sleep pretty easily, or is there like <laughs> a light, like a light? Yeah. You, I don't yeah. think. I think they build it up so much with excitement, and then they have all those activities in the mm. day. It was my first one last year, I'll say. So I thought, I'll be up all night. They were all in bed yeah. asleep, half nine, out like a light. That was it. It was, I don't think they realise it either. The very yeah. size, that just knocks them out. It's yeah. great. <laughs> but if there Freshly. was any sort of upset, <laughs> or if um, Sophia, for example, woke up and said that she missed mum, she would know cool. where Mr. Potsy is. She could go to a room. We have a big sign on our door to say that's where we are. We tell the children what room we're in. We show them. We do so. Stay up as well. And we past, do. We they? do. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. We're not in bed as well. We're, we're <laughs> there, <but yeah. laughs> we make sure that we're there visible. But also, if it was in the middle of the night and for some reason we were in bed at that point, they know where to come. So, and there's a security okay. that's in the house as well yeah. um, that monitors cameras to make sure that there's no one sleeping about at night. <laughs> Hope that helps. Thank you. Um someone's put their hands up. Sophia's mom. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I had a question about the canoeing. You said that their legs were likely to get wet and possibly their feet. I don't know when the canoeing happens. Does it make sense to pack another pair of I can only see one reference to trainers going and shoes for indoor use and slipping should they take a spare pair of trainers in case they get soaking canoeing no because what happens is after canoeing um hang on canoeing. for 2w canoeing is the first okay. day so okay trainers, and then um to be honest it was more us that got wet if i'm being really <laughs> honest, more because we were getting splashed by the children that didn't know how to use the oars properly, bless them. So they were just smacking it in the water. It was more oars. <laughs> if you want to bring, if you want to bring an extra pair, because some children last year had um, had walking boots and then trainers mm. and then their dry indoor shoes, so that right. um, they wore say their trainers on the canoe. Mm. We put them in the dry room. Then they went to um, 
into for dinner, had their slippers on, and then put they on their walking boots. Yeah. By the time, time they've left, done that, or so. they put on another pair to go out. Yeah. So it's really and to see we're doing it the second day. the second day just before we go. Mm. Um. So. If yeah, we they, we put the them we put them in the room and mm. then we had lunch. So actually, they dried really it, quick. Yeah. But if for your peace of mind, if you want yeah. to, yeah. that's absolutely fine. We're not going to be able to get any issues. That's fine. But um, okay. saying that they didn't necessarily need them because of how quick they dried last yeah. time. But, Got you. All right, that's good to know. Thank <laughs> you. That was my question. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who have we got on the list? Um. Ava's mum. Yeah, sorry, I think you've answered it when you said that you put the um, a sign on your door. It was just if the kids were upset in the night, the, how they knew where to find you. But obviously, if you've got a sign on the door and you've told them in advance, then it's just knowing that they know where to go. We don't go to bed until <laughs> gone 11 o'clock, yeah. just listening out. And we all are there together and we walk up and down the corridors. And then when we do go to bed, we're at in the middle aren't we mm. in our in our rooms we're both in separate rooms but in the middle so that they can find us and yeah. either one of you know the adults will be together so it doesn't matter which door that they knock on someone yeah. will be there for and them. there'll be someone in that room you know it's a really you know there'll be someone in the room with them that will know as well so it's not like if Ava for example is upset she'll be in a room with others who will know to come to mm. us as well great so thank you what do we got Okay. Um, oh, is it Gemma? Yeah, Gemma. I think Yasmin's got a question first, but I don't mind going. It's unless Yasmin. Yasmin, you go first. Oh. Oh, I don't mind at all. I've only just realised you can put your hand up. I'm so sorry, I just put it in. I've just seen it. I wondered what these all were. So apologies. No, Gemma, you go. Okay. You go. <laughs> okay, I was just going to say. Um, I will try and obviously put everything in one suitcase, but it's quite small. So are they not allowed an extra bat, um, rucksack? Is that strictly no? I would say one bag purely because we have to walk from here to the coach. Mm. And then when we arrive, we have to walk. They have to carry them into the centre, up the stairs. Into yeah, their okay. That's fine. The next day, it's back down the stairs. And we can't, we help as much as we can, but we obviously have our bags plus yeah no that makes sense yeah no no I'll just say it's a no that's fine if I get asked by her okay that's fine thank you uh, there you go Yasmin as well or is it sorry Yasmin did you have a question no it's a it's a really quick one yeah you know um just uh the bag can it be a little wheelie suitcase that they can carry themselves like a little you know like a oh, cabin yeah, that's perfect okay brilliant thank you and the last one was you know you said the doors lock like they can't get out like how like okay I'm a bit morbid. what if there's a fire <laughs> they're stuck in uh, indoors so it's, it's just like, like the ones doors. at schools yeah it's just like the ones at school so they're not under lock and key but it's just like the school ones it's more protection of them if they got you yeah right, and if there's a fire alarm they automatically unlock oh, yeah. um, so they'll oh. know what to do don't worry thank you that was it Bed the bedroom doors aren't locked they, yeah they're open they're open uh -huh. Okay, that's what I meant. I just thought that that was it when it was bedtime and it was that was it. Like, see you later. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Caroline. Yeah, I was just wondering what the ratio of adults to children is. Um, so one to ten. Yeah, one to ten. Okay. Uh, which is the that's our staff ratio plus yeah. then the staff that are there at the centre. Yeah. <sighs> So we've got the people that run the activities and we're just there to look after those one to ten ratios as well. Cool. Thank so you. Last year it was um, for the archery, they had two. Um, so when we're there, we split up into, so for example, on the first day, 2W will all go together and do canoeing. 2C, we will be split into groups of ten across, <coughs> excuse me, archery, uh, the low ropes, and they do um, um, like a team building yeah, activity. Team so building there's three ones. activities. And then we will switch between those three. Mm. So there'll be an adult from school, plus there were at least two adults from the centre at mm. each. So you're talking three adults to 10 children. Then um, the, on the canoeing, there is an adult per, 
per boat. Per boat. Yeah. Plus they have the speed boat. Yeah. Which had, I think last time it had three instructors in it. Yeah. Um, which follow us behind. They live behind us in front. Yeah. They push us most of the way. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, and then um, on the and then on the second day we obviously swap. So it's the same. So everybody does the same activities, but the ratio is better than that school really. <laughs> we only have <laughs> ten rather than the, the full thirty. Yeah. Right, is there any other questions? We are here all the time to ask any questions to yes. you, or if you're packing or anything comes into your mind or there's something you don't want to ask on here, just send us an email or grab us at the door. We, you know, like we've been doing it now so many years and planning it and stuff. So no question is a silly one when you're sending no. your babies off with us. We understand. So anything that comes to mind, just let us know and we'll try our best to answer them. Um, last time, she didn't tell us the menu. Um, the year before, we did get to choose, mm. so I'll I'll speak with them and see if it if it's something that we can make you aware of before, so you can talk to your children about what it is. Um, so school lunch and then the um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. She said it was um, it some was, cooked eggs, wasn't yeah. it? And Come here, darling. Cereal as well and toast, toast. if they just like that kind of breakfast as well. Mm -hmm. There's always fruit available. Yeah, yogurts. Yogurts, yeah, All fruit juices. juices. Um, better than I get at home. To yeah, the breakfast are really good. And then mm -hmm. uh, oh, hi, Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> and then um, But the main the thing is lunch, oh sorry, sorry. Sorry. No, I was gonna say is the second lunch was sandwiches and cookies yes. and oh, they delicious. were they had these massive baguettes, so yeah. Don't think that they're going to be hungry whilst they're there. <laughs> they're going to be well fed. Well fed. Um, what I was just going to say is, we've just said that it's a massive sleepover with all their great friends, and they are all so excited. We're excited. They're going to have the best time. It's just going to be fabulous. Hmm. And we'll be back before you know it. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, do contact us. Yes, big sleepover, Rosie. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do contact us if you need anything. We're only a click away. Oh, oh yeah. William. Ah, see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.